want to welcome you to this very special segment here. We're going to be talking um, about the uh, importance of high quality CPR a lot this week while we're here at EMS World Expo. Uh, Physio Control has sponsored the Physio Control Podcast Studio. And one of the things they wanted us as podcasters to really talk to our audience about was ways to improve the quality of the CPR, the compressions, and, and improve our resuscitation rates. It's important to them as a company and it's important to us. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about that. Um, we have Dr. Ed Rocked here, and he uh, was a keynote speaker this morning here at EMS World Expo. And he is, I think, one of the people that is uh, showing those amazing improvement rates in his system. And part of that, I would assume, doctor, is that it is the, the improvement of CPR. Absolutely. I, you know, I think if you look at, at where resuscitation is today, if you look at um, all the drugs we've used, the tubes, the interventions, survival has remained relatively constant for three decades. So we've struggled with, with the exception of rapid defibrillation, mm -hmm. um, we've struggled with things not making, we, we can't make a dent in survival. We focus on perfusion, we focus on compressions, we focus on compression density, and all of a sudden we start seeing more survival, we start seeing more neurologically intact survival, so the walkie-talkies, and if you go, if you look at those variables associated with it, you see that some of the simplest stuff is making the largest difference. So there is a, a uh, revolution, I think that's fair to say, in uh, the out-of-hospital world to really focus on quality compressions, perfusion, and not doing anything to interrupt those um, when you're managing that patient population. It's pretty fun. It's, I think the, the profession as a whole is starting to see a lot more of the fruits of those labors, and that in and of itself is a huge motivator. But it doesn't mean getting rid of the, the, the advanced care provider, because you, you need that paramedic and you need that understanding of why high quality CPR is important and what else is going on and understanding underlying physiological issues. Absolutely, and it, you know, if you think about, you think about a commercial airplane, and you think about the pilot and the first officer and the flight attendant and the maintenance guy and the guy who's making sure the baggage doors are closed and the agent making sure there are no creeps on your plane, that everyone has a ticket, everyone belongs there, and you line them all up and you say, who is the least important? And you pluck one of them out of there. You pluck the agent that determines that people who are on the plane should be on the plane. The entire system will fail. So. The same thing occurs in resuscitation. If any one of those elements, you know, historically the chain of survival is missing or doesn't do their job, the entire organism suffers as a result of that. What is one of the things that you've found in your system when you talk to providers or reaching out and looking at educating providers that, that has made the biggest change in improving the quality of CPR? So this is gonna sound goofy, um, but it is, uh, it's almost like this revelation. It is the individual practitioner, whether they are an EMT, whether a communication specialist, communications medic, a paramedic, a physician, when they understand those things that are truly essential because it's within everyone's skill set, it's not some you know, bizarro thing that takes a million years to, to learn, they understand it's in their skill set, they start seeing survivors they have a survivor themselves, all of a sudden it's like wildfire and it becomes a, hey, hey, have you taken, do you know, don't interrupt compressions. Hey, we've got to focus on this. So I think a lot of, in the AMR practices, those practices where we've seen fairly significant improvement in survival, it's because you can name individuals, you can name people who are absolute zealots about resuscitation, CPR and compression density and when you look at that, you say it's the people that motivate others so that if it's 3.38 in the morning, I got the fire in my head to say, I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna do what I can to resuscitate this patient, I know what's right, watch this. So it's a culture, in, in my opinion, it's a cultural shift. Our tools have changed a little bit, but not as much as I think the culture has. Well. Wanna, I really want to thank you for taking the time to talk to us about this because I think this is something that you know every individual EMS professional out there can make a decision to improve what they do, yep. and it starts with the basic things. And so, thank you for taking the time to it sit is with us. My here. pleasure. Thanks for having me.
And I want to thank all of you for checking out all of our coverage here at EMS World Expo and especially the things we're doing here in the Physio Control Podcast Studio. We'll be back more with more segments, so keep stay tuned here to Medicast.tv and the ProMed Network for all of our continuing content.